you're going into a position that you don't have specific experience around or uh, that, you know, your background is not so targeted toward that, it's, it's good to have transferable skills. It's good to be, you know, you're probably going to have to do work with teams and you've probably worked with teams in other settings. So being able to highlight that you work with teams in other settings is going to be transferable to the, to the new uh, role that you're applying for. Another thing that really helped me is putting myself out there. And what this simply means is trying to get feedback from different people. It can be colleagues, it could be fellow students, it can be professors. A lot of people are really willing to help. They'd like to help. I always give the example, think if somebody comes to you, you're usually gonna be very open and helping people. So the majority of people are, also have that attitude and getting that advice from other people um, is definitely gonna help you to be able to land that role. Lastly, I'll just give you a really brief example. In the team I work with, you would expect all of us have an IO background because of the type of work that we focus on, but that's not necessarily true. And just in my team, there are people who have industrial engineering degrees. Uh, there's one that used to be a lawyer. Uh, there's a couple that, that, are, um, from, that have MBAs. So there's a variety of, of sorts there. And the reason that they're on the team, it's not necessarily because of their ex that experience that they got, but because of those transferable skills that they're bring, able to bring to the table for the role. Make sure to check out the My Career tab on the BC Navigator app, where you can track your career progress based on the amount of credits you've earned, stay updated on upcoming events from the Magner Center, and watch our videos for insight and advice on your career field.